Hello and welcome. In one of the previous video, I did installation of SUSE Linux 15 on a Raspberry Pi 3 Model B Plus. Now let's log into that uh, Raspberry Pi over the SSH over the network using SSH. Open terminal. During the setup, I created a new user on that. Uh, Suze Linux 15 named Pi. Let's do SSH. The IP address of uh, my Raspberry Pi is 30. Uh, sorry, this is here. 10.1.10.12. I have its entry in my etc host file. because I don't have a DNS setup right now probably in one of the video I will share how to do a setup of DNS server master slave server and how to troubleshoot so let's move on yes so after logging on you can see one one error is coming here it is related to it is not related to Suze Linux or Raspberry Pi it is something with the settings of my terminal on Mac so how to fix this error message go to terminal preferences and right now I'm using basic profile so let it be basic profile or whatever profile you are using select that one so and go to advanced section and uncheck this set local environment vari variable on a startup just uncheck it close preferences open a new or duplicate session and again do ssh now we should not get that error this one yes it is gone we can close this previous session let's have a look on some properties let's have a look on OS release name slash version 15 version ID 15 Pretty name is Suze Linux Enterprise Server 15. Let's become root. Let's have a look on system DMID code output related to system manufacturer Raspberry Pi. Product name RPI version not specified serial number is here. So this is the command which we mostly use in Linux server to find out whether it's a physical server or a virtual machine and serial number etc. So here it is showing system properties. Yes, it is Raspberry Pi. How? Let's have a look on number of CPUs. There should be four. Cat proc CPU info. Yes, so we have four CPUs here. Obviously, it is yes. In Raspberry Pi 3, we got four CPUs. It is not yet registered with the SUSE network. In next video I will show you how to register or simply how to apply updates which is very essential after installation after installation of our server we should always apply at least security patches and if possible all the available updates should be applied so right now I do I still have to register this Raspberry Pi with the SUSE network so that I can apply updates
we will have a look on this later what about default booting target system CTL get default graphical target I don't have to uh, use graphical graphical target so let's set it to multi user system CTL set default multi user target so that's it for right now